Lesson 5.4, Multiplication Strategies with Multiples of 10. We learned in video 4.2, back in chapter 4, that a multiple is the product of two counting numbers. We have 10 times 1 equals 10, 10 times 2 equals 20, 10 times 3 equals 30, 10 times 4 equals 40, and 10, 20, 30, 40 are multiples of 10. And we could keep going all the way up to 10 times 9 equals 90. Those are all multiples of 10. They're the product of two counting numbers, 10 and 1, 10 and 2, 10 and 3, and so on. We can use the strategy model with base 10 blocks, use a number line, or use place value to multiply multiples of 10. Using base 10 blocks, here we have one strip of 10. It's 1 times 10, and it's equal to 1 times 110, which is equal to 110. 1 times any number is that number, isn't it? So we have 10 here. For this one, we have two strips of 10. We have 2 times 10. That's 2 times 110, which is equal to 2 tens, which is equal to 20. So this would also be using place value. We're using the tens place. Here we have three strips of 10. That's three times 10. And it's equal to three times 110. We have 110 three times, don't we? That would be three tens, which is equal to 30. Here we have four strips of 10. That's four times 10, which is equal to four times 110 which is equal to four tens, which is equal to 40. And the multiples of 10 are the products of 10 and another counting number. Using a number line, we have four times 30. We look at the scale on our number line first, and we see it's going by increments of 10 on the scale. We're going to do four jumps of 30 for each jump. We do one jump, now we're at 30, two jumps, we're at 60, three jumps, we're at 90, and four jumps, we're at 120. So four times 30 is equal to 120. Here we have five times 20. Let's look at the scale first. Hmm, it's got blank little tick mark lines, and then it goes 50, 100, 150. If we count the lines, starting from zero, we have one, two, three, four, five. So each little line must be a 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we know each little line is a 10. So we're gonna have to skip two of them for 20, aren't we? We need five jumps of 20. We do one jump, two jump, three jumps, four jumps, five jumps, we land at 100. So 5 times 20 is equal to 100. We can use place value to find multiples of 10. We rewrite one of the factors using place value, then multiply a basic fact. We have 3 times 40. We have 3 groups of 40. That's 4 tens plus 4 tens plus 4 tens. 3 times 40 is equal to 3 times 4 tens. The basic fact is 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. That means we have 12 tens. And 12 tens is equal to 120. Here we have 6 times 50. That's equal to 6 times 5 tens. 50 is 5 tens, isn't it? We do our basic fact of 6 times 5. And that's 30. That means it's equal to 30 tens. 30 tens is equal to 300. And 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 6 times 50 is equal to 300. And the product has two zeros because the factor 50 has a zero. See? Because there's a zero in this factor, 
we have 30 tens, so we have two zeros in our product for 300. Here we have 4 times 60. That's equal to 4 times 6 tens. We do our basic fact of 4 times 6, which is equal to 24. That means we have 24 tens, which is equal to 240. Place values can help us multiply hundreds and thousands, too. If we had 3 times 200, it's equal to 3 times 2 hundreds. Our basic fact is 3 times 2, which is equal to 6, so we have 6 hundreds. That's equal to 600. Here we have 3 times 2,000. That's equal to 3 times 2 thousands. Our basic fact is 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. That means we have 6 thousands, which is equal to 6,000. Do you notice there were two zeros in this factor, and there were two zeros in the product? And here there were three zeros in the factor, and there's three zeros in the product. When we have a word problem that looks difficult to understand, we can break it into smaller parts. For this one, it says Emma needs 240 beads to make bracelets. There are 20 beads in each package. There are two packages in each box. If Emma has four boxes, how many more boxes does she need? So let's break this into smaller parts. Let's look that there are 20 beads in each package and two packages in each box. We can even draw a diagram or a picture to help us. If there are 20 beads in a package and two packages in one box, that would be one box. It's got the two packages with 20 beads in each one. She has four boxes, so we make four of them. We have two times 20 beads, that's equal to 40. We have another two times 20, which is equal to 40. Another two times 20, which is equal to 40. And another two times 20, which is equal to 40. We have one, two, three, four forties. That's four times forty. We have four groups of forty. We can write it with place value as four times four tens. Our basic fact is four times four, which is sixteen, so we have sixteen tens. That means right now, if she has four boxes, she has one hundred sixty beads. It says that she needs 240 beads, though, and it wants to know how many more boxes she needs. So pay attention that each box has 40 beads in it, okay? So hang on. We know she needs 240 beads in all. We know she has 160 beads now. And we know that there are 40 beads in each box. There's 240 she needed in all, we subtract the 160 she has now. That means she still needs 80 beads. But it wants to know how many boxes she needs, not separate beads. We need to find how many more boxes she still needs. Some unknown amount of boxes times 40 beads in each box is going to equal the 80 beads that she still needs. We look at the basic facts. 2 times 4 is 8, so 2 times 4 tens is equal to 8 tens, which would be the 80 beads. That means she needs two boxes. She needs two boxes of 40 to equal the 80 in all that she needs. So we know Emma needs two more boxes. By breaking this problem into smaller pieces and figuring out with a diagram, how many beads are in a box, that helped us. And using place value to multiply also helped us. In order for her to have 240 beads, she needs two more boxes of 40. Because any multiple of 10 has a zero in the ones place, the ones digit of the product will always be zero. We're going to talk more about multiplying with multiples of 10 in Lesson 5.5. I hope you'll be there, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.